what up what up what up y'all this is astro dim here hey hey have you ever thought about starting your own podcast when i was trying to get my bed in astrology off the ground i had so many questions like how do i record an episode how do i find background music How do I get my show on popular podcast platforms such as Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places people like to listen? Where do I find advertisers? Because, you know, I want to get paid for all the hard work I do. Talking is a lot. (laughs) It's a lot of energy, okay? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording hosting, distributing, and monetizing your podcast. And best of all, it's a it's 100% free and 100% ridiculously easy to use. Yes. The cool thing about um, you know, Anchor FM honestly is that you can record anywhere at any time just by using your phone. You download the app. They have amazing engineering through the app where you can record and have honestly some decent 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 ass um recordings from just your phone it's absolutely amazing and i'm honestly shocked about how um high quality my podcasts are (laughs) because i was like this is coming from my phone are you sure but the cool thing about it is like everything is done on the app you know what i mean and so once i'm done recording and once i finally make the established connections with the distributors as soon as i'm done it goes immediately just immediately to those distributors so people such as my audience or new folks can listen it's just so dope it's you don't have to do that much but to create the episodes create the work And everything's done for you after that. It's absolutely amazing. It it lets the artist truly be the artist. It lets the creative be truly the creative. And that's what I really, really like, you know? So if you always wanted to start your podcast like me, because I always wanted to start my podcast, but I just didn't know where to go. And I did so much research and I finally heard about Anchor and it literally just fulfilled all my needs, you know? So if you're like me, you want to start your podcast, go to anchor.fm slash start. That's anchor.fm slash start to join me and the diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. And there's a lot of folks using it. There's amazing, amazing, amazing podcasts there. And I know your podcast would be amazing too. So go ahead and just join the, just join us, join the kid, join, join the cool team. You know what I mean? (laughs) Again, that's anchor.fm slash start. I can't wait to hear your podcast and holla at me when you got that started. Okay. All right, y'all. Peace. What up, y'all? This is Astro Dim here doing a daily moon reading for March 19th, 2019. Yeah, all that 19, y'all. All that 19. How y'all doing today? Um, Just to let y'all know, I'm going to be doing the daily moon horoscope for the 19th. But on the 20th, uh, I am focusing on the full moon reading, which should be out already. So I'm not going to do a daily moon reading for um the 20th because the 20th will be new moon and so you should i mean full moon excuse me so you should be listening to the full moon reading um for that day and just for the month honestly okay um that's what i suggest you to do um i'm looking at my anchor right uh to see who's like listening to me and shit and um i have people from the ivory coast listening to me that is the fucking dopest thing i have ever heard in my life what up ivory coast how y'all doing oh my god i'm so excited (laughs) i think that's so cool thank you okay thank you so much um most of the people who listen to me, of course, in the U.S., um, I speak English and only English, so um, that's understandable. And the second place is United Kingdom, but third place is Ivory Coast, and that is dope because Ivory Coast, y'all speak French, right? 
so that that's like the oh my god i'm so amazed i know like most countries speak multiple languages it's just america that's weird it's only stuck on english it's ugly ass language but <laughs> but i just want to say thank you for everybody that's listening to me and is supporting me i think that's really dope okay thank you so much um i've been i i, I think i mentioned this before but um i still have my sale that's happening um still 20 percent off i think i may have a special sale for the equinox okay it's going it, it might be a flash sale on my etsy shop okay so if you're interested in taking advantage of this sale that's happening this month um go to etsy.com slash shop slash astro dim i'm not sure i may do something special on the actual equinox which is also the full moon okay so definitely keep your your eyes and ears and all that open (laughs) go ahead okay and um check out my shit man um also uh i know my life purpose reading has sold out recently i'm gonna ref- i'm gonna refill that but um, that is so beautiful that i'm glad that people are really trying to get understand their purpose in life and really trying to understand at a holistic level i'm super excited about that um and i'm super proud of y'all and it's just it's just kind of like i know i'm just touching the uh, section of the collective but I just think that's so dope. I'm, I'm so happy. So um, this is just a good time for me. I'm really excited. Um, I'm very happy. Um, things is things are good. Things are good. Okay. So um, with all that being said, though, um, let me talk about today because I know that's what y'all really want to talk about, right? Is today. Um, so today the moon's going to be in Virgo. Um, it's going to be in the first decade and the second decade of Virgo for the day. At least in my area. Um, I know if you're out in the east side um, of the world, um, which is like Africa, Asia, Europe, you know, it's going to be mostly in the first decade of Virgo. But if you're on my side of the earth, which is the Americas, um, some of the Pacific Islands too, um, you know, it's going to be both decades, okay? So I'm going to talk about both. And hopefully you guys can, um, you know, really benefit from the reading, okay? So um, I'm looking at, at March 19th, 2019 at 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Right At that moment, it's at 8 degrees Virgo, okay? But it's going to be in both decades, like I mentioned before. So emotionally, we are, like, really kind of um, on this vibe of, like, hmm, I'm feeling this way. What can I do to fix it? <laughs> and so you're like racking your brain, looking at the details and figuring out your emotions um, specifically. And what I've noticed that just general natal Virgo moons do, they feel this way and they try to do something practical to kind of change it or fix it or enhance it or whatever they want to do with that emotion you know what I mean and so we're on that vibe as a collective in general too where we're feeling um and we want to do something to either fix that feeling fix that emotion or enhance it so we can continue to feel that way and so it's an interesting time but that's what we're definitely going to be doing at least on the first half of the day when the moon's in the first decant of Virgo because the first decant of Virgo is ruled by Mercury so it's double Mercury because Virgo's ruled by Mercury as well okay then towards the second half of the day when the moon is in um you know the second decant um, you know, that energy is actually cold ruled by Saturn. So as a Mercury Saturn vibe, um, in this energy, we actually, um, are, we're not thinking so much about, um, what can I do to like, what can I do practically to either, um, fix or enhance my emotion that I'm feeling at the moment. Um, we're not like racking our brains. We're actually going to be taking action practically. So on the second half of the day, or possibly even on, um, you know, on the 19th for some of you guys, um, you know, you're going to be like, okay, 
I've been thinking all day on how can I enhance or um, heal this emotion I'm feeling. Now what I need to do is do something about it, initiate something so I can utilize this emotion, utilize this feeling, um, make this a, a, have a stronger status, um, give me a stronger status, a stronger reputation that I want um, to add some authority into the emotion that I feel and the action that I want to take a, from that emotion. You know what I mean? So it's, it's an interesting moon. Like a lot of people sleep on Virgo moons. I think it's an interesting moon. I do. Um, <laughs> it's just, it's interesting to me for sure. That's the, that's the best way to say it. But that's how, that's the general vibe of us. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be looking at um, aspects specifically when the moon is at eight degrees Virgo. Cause I can't, it's, I can't be like switching the aspects like that. Like when I'm looking at like the first decade and second decade, I'm just going to stick to the eight degrees Virgo moon and check out the aspects of that and see what's happening, you know, what's happening. Okay. So let me, I'm looking through right now to see if I see anything, which honestly I'm not, <laughs> um, I might fuck around with moon trying Saturn which is happening to us the later end of the day. I'm going to talk about that, okay? So the moon's going to be trying Saturn, which is pretty cool. So remember how specifically I said that um, in the second half of the day, when the moon's in the second deck in the Virgo, we're really going to be um, taking action on the, on the um, things that we've been thinking about on how to either enhance or heal the emotions that we're feeling. Um, this is solidifying that. We're taking authority and control of our emotions, what we're exactly feeling, and we're and we're like pushing forward. We're like doing things practically to fix it, and so um, it's dope. Because the thing is, is that like when you kind of harness the emotions and do something practical with it, um, not only are you being practical, which is great, because it can help you in the earthly realm. But the thing is, is that you have an emotional connecting to it. So you'll never get bored. You'll never um, get tired of it. You always have this um, sincerity into the actions that you're taking to get to the specific goal. You know what I mean? And so it's a dope energy to have. Um, I definitely sense a seriousness into our vibe too. But it's a positive seriousness. It's not seriousness um, in like in a nasty type of way. But a seriousness as in taking your emotions seriously. You know, this is a trying. You know, so it's not going to be a, a nasty seriousness. But it's a, you know, I feel this way. I, I need to validate my own emotions. Which is dope. Which is something that earth sign energies don't really do that often. Um, they understand their emotions. They feel a lot. Um, but again, they're so focused on what's practical. And so with this energy, what's dope is that you're finding, you're validating your emotions, you're feeling your emotions, you're validating it. But then that practicality vibe that earth signs have, you're like, you're using the actions that you take, the practical actions that you take to the, the, um, um, validate the emotions and have it show some validity to your own emotions. You know what I mean? Um, you being able to kind of do something about it is validating your emotions yourself um, and making you actually um, express your emotions and put to, out towards your emotions and react to your emotions, which is something that earth assigns people don't really do. Um, and so this is not just affecting earth signs folks. I'm just giving that example. This is affecting the collective in this way. Okay. So this is something that is really, really dope. Um, and I think it's, uh, a great and responsible way to kind of handle your emotions. Um, we're going to be really quite responsible when it comes to that. So I'm excited about it. I think it's dope. Um, I think it's positive. So it's really cool. I think it's really dope. Um, let's see what else is happening. Um, sort of later towards the day as well um the moon is going to be opposite um neptune Ooh, lord <laughs> that's gonna be quite interesting right so um with that energy oh goodness so <laughs> oh. i'll say this um 
we're gonna be f- just this Pisces season. We've been we people have been tired it's because they've been feeling a lot. They've been very intuitive. They've been knowing how it feels to be a Pisces, really um, taking in the emotions of others, whether it's living or not, and processing them to the point. That's why we're tired, honestly. And that's why Pisces are usually known for being tired. A lot of people call them lazy. They're not lazy. They're legitimately tired. <laughs> okay. Like, this is what it is because they're doing this constantly. So a lot of the collective is just getting a taste of what Pisces go through all the time. Um, a lot of Pisces are in their element during Pisces season because they feel a little bit more free to be themselves. And so you might even notice them be more energetic. But usually people during their solar return, they're more energetic in general, except strangely for 12th houses. But I'm not going to get into that. Uh, anyways, um, you know, with this energy, it's, it's a bit tricky because, you know, with Neptune being in Pisces, you, you know that. Um, being intuitive is very important. That's why people have been on this intuitive wave. They've been really trying to understand um, what intuition means, how, how important is it, how they should take it, how they should like work with it and all that stuff. Um, and they've really been trying to uncover the unknown, beyond the unknown that's in, within the universe, beyond the unknown spiritually, but the unknown of their soul. To really understand those self undoing and self sabotaging ways that is connected to them and how to fix it, right? It's, it's, it's all of the unknown. You know what I mean? So you're kind of on this wave of self discovery, and self discovery takes intuition. It takes you really um, digging deeper um, on an emotional level. The thing is, though, the <laughs> the moon being in Virgo, like the moon being in Virgo is kind of like, okay, but what can we do about this though? <laughs> like, yes, I'm feeling these emotions, but what can I do physically to, you know what I mean? To do some, because you can't, Virgo can't help it because it's Virgo moon. Virgo is an earth sign. So they're all about, okay, what can I do on this realm, on the earthy realm to fix it? And so it's interesting though, because there's a frustration there because Pisces is edging us to really, explore emotionally mentally spiritually and doing that you have to kind of be still on the physical realm earth sign moons virgo moons like no we need to fix it we need to do something physically not necessarily not necessarily but the, so that's the frustration but the beautiful thing about it is with this um opposite you really get to think about what can I do physically to f- fix myself on doing the self-sabotaging ways. You know what I mean? You really start to think of, think of that li- a little bit more intently uh, because of the obsession that your emotions um, are having when it comes to doing something to fix it. Brainstorming on how to fix it. So you're not, so it's, it's so dope and so prompt, um, poignant because the thing is, is that, you know, we're at, we're heading towards the end. This is the last day of Pisces, last full day of Pisces. So for Neptune to be opposite the moon, we're really within these next two days, within like around like 30 hours we're trying to like, okay, this is what I'm learning. I'm learning about the self undoing that Pisces season is trying to give me. I have a couple, I have some hours to figure this out. I need to start brainstorming what I can do. So when the sun is in Aries, I can start taking action to heal my self undoing in self sabotaging ways and to create a better life. Ain't that fucking something y'all ain't it something. It's just fucking beautiful. It's touching my heart. <laughs> it's making me a little emotional because like, it's just amazing to see how the universe works. You know what I mean? It's just, it's, whew, that's, that's dope. And so just make sure um, in the last full day of Pisces, really try to rack all these shit, all this shit together. Really try to um, learn the lessons that Pisces season is trying to give you and trying to teach you. Um, so you can go ahead and take action on those lessons and, uh, when um, the sun's in Aries because you're going to have the energy back. You're going to notice the energy's coming back and you're going to be able to like start uh, doing things, initiating. Um, but if you don't have no nothing to initiate, if you don't have no goal to initiate, what the fuck is this for? 
fucking i know mars is all about you know sex drive too but you have to do things with intent man you know so definitely guys like that's why i've been pushing you guys to really like i had a time where i wasn't really doing full moon and new moon intentions like that but i had to start doing it after like aquarius the eclipse i had to start doing something you know these this like especially these moments right here like towards the transition of the new year is it is extremely important to take advantage of these astrological um opportunities um you know so i please okay <laughs> for me at least that's what I'm, I'm asking um the moon's going to kind of be opposite the sun towards the beginning of the day um not at the end and um with that energy, of course, um, it's full moonish type of energy where emotionally you will, again, you want to start doing things to, you know, practical things to start heading to, to like head, to, like kind of like you, you want to brainstorm and you want to brainstorm these practical things to do because you've been feeling all these emotions and and you're like okay what can we do to fix it but the sun in pisces it's in its last degrees it's kind of like okay but let's just learn a little bit more about ourselves and doing self-sabotage in ways that's how they want to react that's how they want to express through being intuitive through being empathic through picking up the energies through learning spiritually through just being still um, and so that it, it might be some disagreement there, but again, it's what I mentioned before with the moon opposite Neptune energy. Um, so keep that in mind. Okay. Um, even though the moon is not going to be technically, um, it's not going to be, a, it's, it's not going to be technically a full moon yet. Um, with this energy, it's going to be similar to full moon energy, you know, because again, the moon's going to be in the early decade of Virgo and the sun's going to be in the late decade of Pisces. That's not a full moon. They're not even aspecting, um, really, but I just wanted to kind of show you how the energies are like getting ready for each other. Do you get what I'm saying? Like it's, we're getting ready for the full moon. It's, it's just, it's just kind of that, that vibe. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to make sure you guys were aware of that. Um, lastly, um, the moon is going to be, um, towards the beginning of the day, the moon is going to be trying Uranus. And so this is go, this is actually golden. This is dope because, um, you know, Uranus and Taurus, we are, um, finally again, (laughs) um, realizing, um, the worthiness of our uniqueness and individuality and wanting to like do some about it. So we're just going to be in this journey for the next, you know, what, how long does Uranus take to travel? Like a very long time, like 10 years, maybe, I don't know. But we're going to take this time, though, to um, really understand the worth of our uniqueness and individuality. Um, And this is going to take a lot of ups and downs when it comes to our self-worth. It's going to take a lot of ups and downs when it comes to our money. Um, But if you're willing to invest in your individuality and uniqueness, you're in the right time. And you're following the energies perfectly. Um, Which is dope because with the moon being in Virgo at um, at the moment... Again, this is this this is the time in which we're brainstorming through um, via our emotions. You know what I mean? Using our emotions to brainstorm on how we can find practical ways to make our goals um, be met, to f- to find the answers, to find a resolve um, in general. And when you're when this energy with this energy trining, you know what I mean? We're being the most innovative. We're expressing our individual individuality. Um, we're understanding that there's worth into it. And with this moon, we're like, okay, we understand the worthiness of our individuality. Let's go ahead and start doing things um, to take action. You know what I mean? To push forward 
and to show our worth, to express our worth. But another dope thing about it too, so again, because this is both in the beginnings of this um, of the sign, um, Uranus at zero degrees, Taurus and the Moon at um, the first decade and second decade of Virgo, is that we're taking the time to really figure out, okay, what what it, it what is it about my individuality that's worthy? And so it's kind of like a self reflection type of moment. Um, and it's helping, helping, you know, when you're figuring out the worthiness of your individuality, it, it, you know, it can be self-deprecating um, sometimes, but it can also be very uh, much a confidence boost to see, yeah, you know what, I am worthy. You have to just kind of make sure you flip the switch and make sure that you start um, positively um, thinking with intent. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's what I got for you guys for the 19th. This is a special day. Um, so definitely take advantage of it. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely day. Um, again, for the 20th, um, March 20th, listen to the full moon reading, okay? Um, it should be available now. So definitely listen to the full moon reading. And, um, if it's not available, it will be, um, very soon. So know that. And, um, yeah. Um, make sure you get ready for this spring equinox for this new beginning. Okay. All right. Also, um, if you're interested in my Patreon, um, I just did a live with my folks on the 17th. It was lit. It was fun. I enjoyed it so much. Um, you know, I'm trying to think of new different ways on how to kind of be a community and do cool things. And, you know, if you're interested in being in a cool astrology group, um, check it out it's uh, patreon.com slash shop slash astro dim okay it's really fun like i i love my patrons they i'm blessed i really am blessed and um you know if you're interested in a reading of course i still have this 20 percent off sale or 15 or 20 i think 20 percent off sale happening um etsy.com slash shop slash astro dim um, on the 20th, I may do a flash sale. I'm not sure yet. You just got to see if I do it or not. Okay. <laughs> All right. So much love to you guys. Peace. <laughs>